This is the morning shower brought to you by Late Night Hump. Let the news wash over you with Jordan Freed, Brendan O'Brien, and Rena Ezra. These are your shower headlines. After their clothes dryer began blowing out a lot of lint, a Florida family called a repairman who discovered a dead snake. So always remember to clear out your pockets before you do laundry. Police in Shenzhen, China, shut the country's first sex doll hotel down, one of two establishments where men can pay $28 to spend an hour with inanimate sex dolls. These types of establishments operate in gray areas legally, as sex work is illegal in China and can land you in jail for up to 10 years. When reached for comment, the sex dolls at the hotel were quoted as saying, Nothing because these inanimate sex dolls don't talk. H&M, Nike, and other big Western apparel brands are facing a boycott in China because of the stand they've taken against the alleged use of forced labor to produce cotton in the country's western region of Xinjiang. While China isn't supporting the retail stores, I'm sure Americans won't think twice before they buy clothes and shoes made off the sweat and tears of workers because being oblivious is the American way. The rainbow flag is flying proudly Thursday above the Bank of England in the heart of London's financial district to commemorate World War II codebreaker Alan Turing, the new face of Britain's 50-pound note. Now, if you have 50 pounds to your name, you can gay pay. 34-year-old mother Edith Riddle was arrested last week after she allegedly fought a student at DuPont Middle School in Jacksonville, where her daughter attends. Riddle and her daughter were meeting with the DuPont vice principal about the daughter's violent outbursts, then went to the school cafeteria, where the daughter went to engage the victim in a fight. Riddle's daughter pushed the victim to the ground, began punching her, and was quickly joined by Riddle herself. Riddle had a boxing glove on her left hand, which she claimed was glued on and couldn't be removed, according to the police report. I guess now the kids at DuPont Middle School will think twice the next time they're about to make a Yo Mama joke. For people awaiting a heart transplant, the French company Carmont has developed something that might help. A total artificial heart, a device to replace the whole heart until a donor can be found. Similar in shape to the human heart and weighing 4 kilograms, it is powered by two battery packs that provide around 4 hours of charge. Then the device would need to be connected to a main power supply. Only 4 hours of charge? I'll trust the artificial heart when the battery packs are powered by the Energizer Bunny. That's up to eight hours. Chloe Zhao's Nomadland cemented its Oscar frontrunner status Wednesday, winning the top award at the 32nd Annual Producers Guild of America Awards. This isn't surprising, though, because there's nothing producers like more than exploiting poor people. Girl Scout troop leader Jill Gauthier, 49, is accused of stealing $12,500 from Girl Scout cookie sales and event fees, Ohio Attorney General Dave Yost's office said in a news release. Gauthier is accused of depositing cookie money and event fees collected from her parents into personal bank accounts and using the funds for personal purchases. Yeah, this is bad. Those kids worked hard for that money. This is a totally immoral thing to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if this causes a delay in me getting my box of Samoas and dosy dos there is going to be fucking hell to pay. A Georgia man said his former employer owed him a pretty penny. $915 to be exact after leaving his job in November. But Andreas Flatten said he was shocked to see his final payment... 90,000 oil or grease covered pennies at the end of his driveway earlier this month. News outlets reported. Atop the pile was an envelope with Flatten's final pay stub and an explicit parting message. I don't know. If my boss gave me my final paycheck in pennies, I'd tell my friends and family to sabotage the business with one star reviews and see how my boss likes having to clean off oil pennies. Thank you for showering with us. Lather, rinse, repeat every day before noon. Scrub-a-dub-dub at latenighthump.com.